Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. We have spoken in the past about the idea of guilty pleasures, and these are, of course, bands that supposedly you're a little bit embarrassed to really have enjoyed. We're not talking about that specifically today because there's a lot of groups that are out there that heavy metal fans tend to love that don't necessarily fall within the heavy metal bracket. And what I need from you guys today, and this is interactive considering your choices, your picks, are going to directly affect a future Cover Killer Nation video, is I would like to know some of the groups that you enjoy that are outside of the metal bracket, whether it be alternative rock, whether it be standard rock, oldies, jazz, pop, rap, it does not matter that you enjoy while also concurrently being a heavy metal fan. What other bands do you call yourself a fan of? And I will give you an example presently. Uh, for example, I've always been a large fan of alternative music. I was uh, really one that was big into it in the 1990s. In fact, if I would have started this channel and YouTube was around in the late 1990s, I would be covering a completely different spectrum of music. Either that or would just be getting started covering the heavy metal marketplace and of course would have found myself to love it, but either way, I loved bands that were able to sort of push the boundaries a little bit, and I've talked about some of these in the past, and that's bands such as Push Monkey or Bush. We just recently lost Soundgarden. I really love the grunge scene a good bit, which is unpopular among metal fans, but who cares? Uh, really, there's a lot of bands in the 90s that are sort of unsung heroes that still exist today, either that or we no longer have them. Bands like uh, the Tragically Hip, the Dandy Warhols, Rise, just to name a couple, and then of course... There's the industry loves, the darlings, the My Morning Jackets of the world, as well as the uh, My Bloody Valentines. I am a big fan of indie music as well. I do listen to some rap. I've reviewed Kendrick Lamar and Lupe Fiasco in the past, but I've also had long-term love affairs with artists such as Busta Rhymes and T.I. That's just me being honest. Of course, in the pop scene, you guys know uh, that I listen to a little bit of that here and there. The Miguels, The Prince, uh, you know, uh, Ariana Grande, Justin Timberlake, I still will dabble into a little bit of that. Anything that really has a very good overall veneer to it, I'm going to be very interested in. I've listened to, you know, jazz classics and favorites. Of course, the blues are a big part of my philosophy with Joe Bonamassa really taking charge, but I also am a big fan of what Gary Clark Jr. has been bringing to the table. Uh, his albums are becoming very, uh, you know, very varied. I, not to sound redundant, there's a variety of things that he can accomplish. And hell, I even listen to some country artists. I'm a big fan of the classics, while at the same time embracing the Sturgill Simpsons and the Chris Stapletons of the world that are taking a look at what's deemed as the modern convention and basically saying that that's not for me. I want to know, what are the bands that you love, that you absolutely love? Like, is it The Cure, for example? Are you a big fan of maybe a group such as Sponge? You know, an elder group such as that was Oleander your thing? You know, were you a big fan of the bands from Woodstock 99? Let me know in the comments below because the biggest choices, the ones that we see the most, are going to be subject to a future Cover Killer Nation video. So get your voice heard, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me who your favorite groups are outside of the metal veneer. I'm Cover Killer Nation, and I look forward to reading these lists. Take care.